There's a saying that only those who strive their hardest will earn the utmost respect of the people. This is what Rebecca Williams brought to the table on why she became one of the most respected icons in the video game industry. Roberta Williams, dubbed as the Queen of Graphic Adventures, founded a game studio that will become Sierra Online with her husband, Ken Williams, in 1982, created their first game called Mystery House, a part of the series in what called High Risk Adventures became their debut adventure game in 1980, which was inspired by the detective story Agatha Christie's and There Were None. And later after the development of Mystery House, she designed The Wizard and the Princess, which in the same year in 1980, and the very first adventure game that have featured colored graphics and time zone also in 1982. Her magnus opus with IBM's request spawned the making of the King's Quest series, a 2.5D adventure game in 1984 that tells about the adventures of the royal family of Daventry. In the later episodes of the series, Roberta Williams designed the games with the help of her co-designers. She also developed games outside of the King's Quest series, namely Mix of Goose in 1987, Colinus B-Quest in 1989, and Pantasamagoria in 1995, which brought Sierra Online huge profits and even raised the value of the company. Ms. Williams remained active in game development under Sierra Online until it was sold to CUC International in 1996. Her last project for the company was King's Quest, Mass of Eternity in 1998, which deviated from the formula of her previous works in the series by including the point-and-click combat system reminiscent of Diablo and some RPG elements in it. For her and her husband's contribution in gaming, Roberta and Ken Williams both received the Lifetime Achievement Award in last year's The Game Awards, and also in the same event they announced their retirement in the gaming industry. It goes to show that dedication, passion, and love of the likes of Roberta Williams will always be remembered in the gaming industry. Those said traits manifest in her work, especially on how people love and still loves the game she made and became inspired by her works. And there's your profile for Roberta Williams. I hope you people will like this and don't forget to share this around. Anyway, I'm a homer and I'll see you.